If you have ever experienced a natural disaster, you may have eventually wondered how do I create an emergency plan for my family? This is a question that everyone should consider, but for those in high-risk areas, it is even more crucial. Below are a few key considerations and steps that should be taken to create an emergency plan for your family. What types of emergencies should I plan for? The first step in creating an emergency plan should include a risk assessment for the types of threats your family could experience. If you live in Los Angeles, California, it might be earthquakes, whereas in Florida it might be hurricanes. Correctly identifying and preparing for the most likely threats is the most efficient way you can create an emergency plan for your family. What should be considered for an emergency plan? When developing a plan, you should look at your unique situation and try to anticipate the impacts of the most likely and most dangerous threats in your area. Thinking through alternate evacuation routes, communication plans, what types of supplies could be needed, or what services could be impacted, are all important to consider. How do I create an emergency plan for my family? Follow these steps when creating an emergency plan for your family. Identify potential risks. Decide what risks you need to mitigate, and how you would minimize harm to your home or family during an emergency. Make a communication plan. Make sure that everyone in your family knows how to reach each other, even without cell service. Identify a safe location where everyone can meet up, or how to let others know you are safe. Make an emergency preparedness kit. Visit national resources such as FEMA or the CDC to learn about what types of supplies should be kept on hand, or included in a kit that can help you withstand the immediate effects of a disaster. Keep your kit on hand. Ensure that your kit is accessible in locations where you might be during a disaster. This may mean having a kit at your home and in your car, or your place of employment. Case study, earthquakes. During an earthquake, furniture and belongings can potentially become dislodged or topple over, this could cause grave injury during an emergency, so considering an earthquake brace bolt could be a great step to limit potential injuries. Similarly, the foundation of a building or house can suffer damage due to the violent motion experienced during an earthquake. Cracking or shifting of the foundation could in turn cause more extensive damage to the property or even injury to the patrons. A seismic retrofit can be a good measure to take for preventing the need for a more extensive foundation repair. If you are ready to take the next steps and start preparing your home for an earthquake, there are many companies well suited for this task such as our team here at Seismic Safety who have plenty of experience in preparing your home for earthquakes. Make sure you give us a call at 626-791-2300.